Recently, I came across a news story about a normal university in Heilongjiang, which is supposed to be a place for training the engineers of human souls, teachers. A group of students from this university purchased costumes for a performance. After the performance, they returned the unwashed, sweat-stained clothes to the store, exploiting the retailer's seven-day no-questions-asked return policy. According to the retailer, this was not the first time the school had done this. What is the role of a teacher? According to the ancients, teachers should be sole engineers who impart knowledge, teach skills, and resolve doubts. When people with such tainted souls can pass the college entrance examination and enter a normal university, it is not hard to understand why our social morality is declining. What is the purpose of the college entrance examination? Is it not to select qualified talents and eliminate the unqualified ones? However, recent events have shown otherwise. In Jiangsu, a math genius named Jiang Ping was eliminated by our examination system. If not for Alibaba's talent competition, which does not follow conventional standards, we might never have discovered Jiang Ping, a math prodigy who chose to study fashion design at a vocational school due to financial constraints. Meanwhile, some morally corrupt individuals have passed our college entrance examination and entered normal universities, institutions that are supposed to train future talents. It is evident that our examination and education systems need reform. Moral standards should be the primary criterion for admissions. Only in this way can we ensure that high IQ criminals do not graduate from prestigious universities and that our social morality gradually improves. Secondly, the education system should evaluate students holistically, considering their moral, intellectual, physical, aesthetic, and labor education. The cultivation of moral character should be integrated throughout the entire education process, from elementary school to university. Higher education institutions should consider not only academic achievements, but also the moral qualities and social responsibilities of students during admissions. This approach will help cultivate well-rounded, high-quality talents and improve societal morals. Lastly, all sectors of society should work together to create a positive moral environment. The media should vigorously promote positive energy, highlighting truth, goodness, and beauty while suppressing falsehood, evil, and ugliness. Family education should also emphasize moral education, instilling values of honesty, responsibility, and social ethics in children from a young age. In conclusion, reforming the college entrance examination and education system is imperative. By prioritizing moral standards, we can ensure that true talents emerge and that we cultivate individuals who are both morally and intellectually outstanding. Improving social morality requires the effort and perseverance of each of us. Let us work together towards a brighter future. Don't you agree?